I always enjoy speech contests. It's fun, it's inspiring, and most of all, there's free flowing coffee at the back. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, contest master, I like listening to inspiring stories. However, I'm not here to tell you to not waste opportunities or to tell you that it's never too late and especially not to shut up. <laughs> I'm here to tell you to slow down. Success has always been a need for me. And whenever I feel down, I listen to expiring stories. Words have power, as one of our speakers said earlier. So, whenever I feel down, I listen to speeches of our great speakers. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Get up one more time. Keep moving forward. It became a drug that I needed. My mind and my body craved for it. Coffee became my best friend. I've had, I think, five cups of this. <laughs> Not really a good idea when you're competing. <laughs> <laughs> but it became a simple addiction, something I need to get by. However, I was already pushing myself to the limit. I was traveling back and forth to Manila every day for four hours, but I pushed harder until my body wanted to give up. Poor business decisions left me deeply in debt, but I pushed some more until my mind wanted to give. I pushed and I pushed and I pushed because success is just around the corner. I just need to push just a little more. Just a little more. I pushed until I reached my breaking point. But no amount of speeches, no amount of inspiration, and no amount of advice could get me up. Defeated, I raised my hand and surrendered. I said, I give up. It's funny how giving up feels. For one, it clears your mind. As I was sipping my cup of coffee that day, an image of my grandfather suddenly appeared. I saw my grandfather fixing us a cup of coffee. My grandfather wasn't successful. He wasn't rich. And, but he was content. And he was happy. As he fixed us each a cup of coffee, he took a sip in his cup. And he gave me some advice. He said, Neb, never kiss a girl with bad breath. <laughs> I didn't say it was useful advice. <laughs> we were laughing until tears flowed our eyes. Then he turned and gave me a more serious advice. Neb, life will get tough. When that happens, don't give up. Remember what's important to you. And slow down once in a while. At 15 years old, that advice didn't make sense. All I was thinking about was kissing girls. <laughs> that moment was 18 years ago. That was the last time I saw my grandfather. It's true that they say that you never realize the value of the moment until that moment becomes a memory. Now, whenever I smell coffee, I get brought back to that day. I try to remember what he looks like, but I can't. But his advice rings in my ears. Don't give up. Remember what's important. I thought that that was a, what what I was doing my entire life. However, I wasn't happy. I was far from it. Slow down. Only when I slowed down that I realized I was missing something. I looked inside of me to remember what really is important for me. I always thought I wanted success 
That was what import what that was what's important. But I wanted to succeed in my career so that I can be happy. I wanted to be rich so I could spend time with my friends and family. But in the pace I pushed myself, I lost sight of what was important. I didn't have time. And I was far from happy. I slowed down. We live in a world today where everything is in a rush. We want to get everything instantly. But more and more people fail because they burn out in the process. I learned my lesson. I reached out to the friends and family I have drifted away over the years. Whenever we share a cup of coffee together, we share more than just a cup. We share time. We share ourselves. And time is the greatest gift that we can give to people. With that, fellow Toastmasters, I thank you for sharing this cup with me. I, lead, I want to lead you to a toast, because practically, that's what we're supposed to do. A toast to our grandfathers and their sometimes weird advice. <laughs> a toast to friends and the time we get to spend with them. And a toast to girls with fresh breath. <laughs> <laughs> Success is just around the corner. Don't give up. Remember what's important to you. And slow down once in a while. Here, here. Here, here.